Hello friends, so today we we'll gonna discuss this question of lead code weekly 172 question number 1324 print words vertically So in this question you are given a sequence of words or like a sentence in which there are different words and you have to stack them vertically in vertical order and then print the words as it is in the output as a string vector uh, as you can see in the example we print h o w a r e y o u and then this becomes one word this becomes one word this becomes one word and we have to return this as an vector array vector as a string vector of a string okay so but the main trick in this question is like i'll show you with an example uh this there's a word like to be or not to be so if we stack this to be or not b so this place becomes empty and the question state that we have to put white spaces here not we, we can't ignore these white spaces but we have to ignore this white space because if we stack these words in this order only this word are the trailing spaces have to be ignored but the the spaces which come before these uh we can't ignore them and we have to put a white space in place of that <clears throat> as you can see in this example they have stacked those words but the t till t they have put the white spaces but after that they have not placed anything so this is the question and we have to print the uh, vector of strings so there can be different strategies and different methods to print this i have just done the basic and the most simple one but the code has become a little lengthy but uh, the the concept or the method is very logical so let me help you get to the code so what i have done is first i have added uh, a white space at the end of the string so that we can end the uh, while we are moving in this uh, string we can end at a white space so that a word is completed i'll let you know how this algorithm is working so first i add a white space at the end and then i'll count the number of letters in the string and uh, the first objective of my first loop this for loop is what i have i'm doing is uh, i'm fi finding the the word which has the maximum length the maximum length word in this whole sentence says so that the maximum letter word in this sentence is 3 3 3 so it's 3 now in this the first word is 2 2 2 3 so the 3 is the maximum letter word in this whole string so this loop found the maxi which stores the maximum length of the word in the input then what i do is because as you can see in this example we have to add buffer spaces to accom accompany this spaces in the final word so we have to put buffer spaces so what i did is uh, i'll go through each word uh, in this letter in this string and what i'll do is if i encountered a white space like uh, first i'll go from t then o then i encounter a white space so it means a word has completed so a word has completed then what i'll do is i'll add underscore at the at the last of those words so that we make those letters of the word equal to the maximum letter what i'm assuming to say is that uh, the the first letter is t then o but as we know we have also we also have to add a buffer value so that in, the length of this word becomes equal to the maximum letter of the word possible so i add a buffer underscore and then we push it into this vector of a so what it does is it makes all the letters of equal length and uh, it adds is white backspace uh, underscore at the end of those letter then what i'll do is i'll make a vector and i add those words into that vector so that if i encounter this underscore i'll put a space so that uh, what i'll do is then i'll move from each word okay 
I'll move from t, then I put it in this string at t, then o, I'll put it here o, and then there's also white, there's also underscore because we have make all the strings of equal length because it's two uh, letter word, and there's also be an underscore, and then because there's underscore, I'll add a space here. I hope you're understanding my point because t. I'll add here O, I'll add here and because there's also underscore because we have made all the words of equal length of three there's also underscore and if you have encountered underscore we'll put a white space that's what I'm doing here uh, I'll if I encountered a underscore I'll put a white square white space if not I'll just add that word and then I'll in the final I'll form a vector string uh, I'll form this vector of different strings length but the thing is there's also trailing underscores at the end of those words. So then I have to again uh, loop through those words and uh, see if there is a white space at the end. I'm doing a loop from the end to the start of each word. I'm iterating to each word and, and on an each word, I'm going from back to the front. And if I encountered a white space, I'm just ignoring it. And when the first word is encountered, I'll make the flag one so that it doesn't ignore the front white spaces. I hope you understand it because there are also white spaces in the front. But I just want to ignore the white spaces at the back. So I'll mark here a flag here. And uh, just when the first white space, the, the, the first white space from the back I encountered, it just ignore it. But when the first word is encountered, it make the flag one so that it doesn't ignore the white spaces at the start. And then it adds all those, uh, the new word in S. Uh, and then I'll copy back those, that word into answer and the answer array. And then I'll just return the answer array. I, I know this is, this sounds a little bit confusing, but you can repeat, uh, repeat this video and uh, again, clarify your doubts. If you have some doubts, please mention out in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.